program was designed for students to explore properties of orbital motion. So in this example, I have a space shuttle-like satellite. I can change that by clicking on the satellite button and change it to something that looks like Sputnik. Or we could change it to a bunch of other little satellites. Notice that the satellite is way out of proportion to the planet, although all the other distances are scaled. If I scaled the satellite, we would not be able to see it at all, so the satellite will remain much larger than it really is. When students are ready, they click on the Start button, which will then turn to a Pause button, which students can then stop this simulation at any moment. They can take the time it takes the satellite to go once around the planet, or in this case a quarter of the way around the planet, and multiply it by four. The problem is they would be getting four times the error they would have gotten if they allowed the satellite to go farther. Uh, students can change from the Earth to other bodies including Eris or Vesta. You'll notice that as the satellite orbits, the central body will also rotate with its natural um, period. You'll notice there is a line on there so students can see where the uh, central body started out and they can judge about how much it's rotated as the satellite has gone around it. Students can reset at any time to bring the satellite back to its original position. Students can change back to whatever planet they want to work on at any time also. Students can employ the ruler. You'll notice in this case the satellite is almost 8 million meters away from the center of the Earth. That will be its orbital radius. They can hide the ruler by clicking again on the ruler mark. Students should be aware that the ruler will change its scale based on the size of the central body. So when they are at Vesta, the ruler will now be in kilometers. And students can move the satellite to greater and greater altitudes, or they can move it closer and closer to the planet. It will not be able to go any closer than just a few millimeters on the screen from the surface of the planet. However, you can go farther and farther, and it will change the scale of the system as you go out. So now if a student was to bring up the ruler, they'd see we're now back in the megameter range. Okay, so I hope this is enough to get you started with the program. Students should look at how the satellite mass affects the time to orbit. They should look at how the orbital radius affects the time to orbit and they should look at how the central mass affects the time to orbit. Not all of these factors will be important. In fact, some will be non-factors, but it's important for students to see what does and does not affect the orbital period of the satellite.